What's going on guys, Carl Mechanic here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the ferrule. Let's do it. Now for those of you who don't know, the ferrule shuffle is actually used to interweave cards perfectly in a 1 to 1 ratio. So it looks a little something like this. Right, as you can see the cards are woven perfectly in a 1 to 1 ratio. Disregard that part, that's not that's not even there. So as you can see the cards are in a 1 to 1 ratio and there's just so many cool techniques you can do with this, whether it be, you know, crazy shuffles to card tricks to flourishes to cardistry. So it has so many uses and so many amazing things that you could do with it. Let's just get into how it's done. Now, of course, if you go on YouTube, you look at a bunch of different videos and tutorials on how to do the Pharaoh Shuffle, uh, different people teach it differently. So the way I like to do my Pharaoh Shuffles is I like to split the cards in half. Of course, I think we all share that in common. And then I, I like to weave the cards together using the um, top left corner of one packet and the bottom left corner of the other packet. So that's what I use when I put those two corners together. And also I weave from bottom up. So my weaving of the cards looks a little something, hopefully you can see this, uh, like this. Right, so the cards weave together from bottom up. Let me show you that one more time. There we go, weaving from bottom up. It looks something like that. Versus what I know a lot of tutorials on YouTube uh, they teach it where you go from top down, which I kind of have a little bit of trouble doing, as you could probably see from me struggling here. So it's not perfect when I do it this way. Uh, I mess up a little bit here and there. That's why I like to go, if I can clean these up, that's why I like to go when I do my ferro shuffles, I like to go from uh, bottom up versus top down. Right? So, let's, uh, now that you know, how I do the Pharaoh Shuffle. Let's actually really get into it this time. Now, of course, starting off, you wanna break the deck into two even packets. Uh, do as even as possible. Of course, ideally it's 26 to 26. Um, as you can see, mine are not completely balanced. I'm usually off by a card or two, but I'm getting there, getting at 26 every time. So, we got that all prepared. Now, how are we gonna hold the cards? So in my left hand, I'm a righty, so I hold one half, the top half in my left hand, the bottom half in my right hand. So what, the way my left hand looks is I have my thumb um, face, with the deck facing me, I have my thumb on the left side of the cards, my middle ring and, point, and uh, pinky finger on the right side, and my index finger on top of the deck. So that's my left hand. And in regards to the bottom packet, right, which goes here, this bottom packet right here, I have my middle finger and ring finger on the right side, of course again with the card facing me being the performer, and my thumb on the left side. And then I have my pinky finger on the bottom for support. Right, so now when I'm putting these two cards together, there are a couple things to keep in mind. One, you have to make sure the cards are squared up completely like this. You can't have the cards, you know, a bit jumbled like this or like this because that's not gonna work. Right, so you break apart the deck as even as possible. I like to give it a few taps like this just to ensure that this is completely flat and this is completely flat and the cards will all be lined up. Give it a few taps and then I come over to the corner right here. Now in actuality what's gonna happen is I'm actually just really just pushing and the cards just start weaving together like this. But of course that's not gonna happen in your first try because I know a lot of the time, when I, at least when I got started at first or when I'm teaching other people to do it, people are usually just like pushing the cards like this. So sometimes the cards start weaving as you can see here, but then like you're just gonna start ruining corners and nobody's gonna be happy when you do that. So you don't wanna use brute force to put these, push these uh, two decks together. So you wanna approach it you know, kind of in like a nice calm sort of way. Let me show you what I mean by that. Now one thing I forgot to mention before even going into um, farrowing the two packets together, you wanna make sure that there's no air between the cards, right? So they're not like this, you're not holding them like this. You're only holding them when they're completely straightly in line with each other, no air between the cards, 
and then you get that nice grip with these fingers here and same thing with the other package as well. So you want to make sure they're squared up and there's no air leaks between any of the cards. Now once you're here you start approaching the packet like this right you start approaching the two halves together and you want to meet them right at the bottom here and you also don't want to approach directly because if you approach directly then as you can see nothing is happening no matter how hard I do this nothing's gonna happen the cards are just gonna be ruined so that's not something you want to do right so instead of going directly head-on like this you can start off right here do not push the cards together yet and tilt down with your right hand a little bit so you're here just tilt down a very small amount like you can see here and then you can see the cards will start um, pretty much automatically weaving not really automatically weaving but you apply a little bit of pressure the bottom card will start interleaving perfectly one at a time and you're pretty much just pushing a little bit against that right well that's all you're doing you're just pushing a little bit at a time at this angle right and you're not pushing straight at this angle here you're pushing a little upwards at this angle and you'll see the card will start to interleave and it'll pretty much leave you with that perfect ferrule as you can see here oh god you gotta stop doing that so again a few things to keep in mind right you split the packet as evenly as you possibly can you tap to make sure the cards are completely square no air gaps between all the cards you approach at an angle not directly forward like this you approach at a little bit of an angle and then you slowly start applying a little bit of pressure not in a straight direction so not completely straight like this but kind of in like this uh, at the angle that you have the cards aligned in right so that's the direction you start pushing in and you can see the cards will start weaving perfectly naturally now there will be some points where the cards will just automatically stop weaving at one point and you'll just be stuck uh, let me see if I can get an example for you right you're coming here you're doing this right so let's say the cards are stuck here like this and they're just just not working anymore you can move the card you can start grinding like the cards like this like like this a little bit and you just saw the uh, a Pharaoh still goes into completion right, let me see if I can do that one more time so as you can see the cards get stuck here then I just slowly go back and forth a little bit continue pushing and you'll see that the card will start weaving again of course you don't want to do that too vigorously because again that'll ruin the edges of the cards and that's pretty much all there is to the Pharaoh shuffle it's actually quite easy to do once you actually you know start getting a good amount of practice it really shouldn't take more than three four days to pretty much hit that perfect Pharaoh nine times out of ten so again just a few last tips cut it as close to halfway as possible make sure to square it up no gaps between the cards when you're weaving come at an angle and not directly straight otherwise it's not going to work you can try doing this but again it's just going to ruin the edges of the cards so you come here boom angle weave those together if it gets stuck do a little bit of a grind from you know up and down and then the card should pretty much come right together and then from here there's so many things you can do you can just you know continue doing the shuffle and go crazy but I'll be uploading a lot of cool tricks and uh, flourishes that you can do using the Pharaoh shuffle so stay tuned for that so that pretty much wraps up this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and as always thank you so much for watching make sure to go check out my patreon page to help support my channel because your support really means a lot to me so I'll put the link to that in the description and also in the description it's a link to all my social media so you can follow me on there for my photos videos status updates and all that kind of good stuff so all that being said I will see you in the next video Oh wow, you guys are still here. I need to start leaving some prizes or something because why else would you stay here this long? But in the meantime, like, share, subscribe because if you do, you are awesome. Thanks for watching.